So, which Facebook ads are the best Facebook ads to run? Here's the thing. Um, I can say that the best Facebook ads to run are traffic ads. Or I could say that's if I want to get a bunch of traffic, right? To my website, to my app, to my landing page. Or I can say the best Facebook ads to run are uh, catalog ads, right? To get catalog sales. That's if I have a Shopify store or uh, uh, an affiliate site that I'm promoting products on or um, a catalog of products that I'm trying to focus on and trying to sell, right? Or, or I can say the best type of ads or brand awareness ads. That is only if I have a brand new brand, <laughs> a brand new brand. That's kind of weird. That's not what I'm trying to say. A brand new brand, but you know, hopefully you guys get the point here. A brand new company or uh, an image that I'm trying to push out there so people can get used to. I guess I could say a brand new brand. As stupid as that sounds, hmm, maybe that'll get my point across. A brand new brand. Yeah, because a lot of people out there have brand new brands. I have a brand new brand. And right now, let's say... I have a couple brand new brands actually, and you might have a brand new brand. So, damn, I am beating the shit out this dead horse. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's just say, for example, you wanted to get more awareness around your brand, right? More awareness. Then guess what? A brand awareness ad would be the best ad to run. So, what am I saying here? To answer this question, what is the best Facebook ad to run? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. When we go into Facebook and we hit create a campaign, well, we come across these three opportunities. There's an opportunity for brand. There's an opportunity for consideration. And then there's an opportunity for conversion. Those are the three layers of a funnel. Now, within each of those categories in the ca uh, campaign creation mode of Facebook, they have subcategories. And I'll go through them with you right now. Under awareness, there's brand awareness and reach. So if you're trying to do brand awareness and you're trying and you're not really worried about conversions or anything like that or even be considered, you're not even thinking about trying to capitalize and get people to buy, then yeah, you definitely want to go with brand awareness. This is just going to push your, this is just going to get your brand in front of people, as many people as possible, and uh, get people aware, get people talking. So you better make sure your message is on point and you're communicating what it is you're trying to communicate. Maybe it's a post that you're trying to communicate. Maybe it's a blog post. Maybe it's a post on your Instagram page. Maybe it's a post on anywhere you might have a post, right? I don't want to kill that. And then you have reach. So reach is depending on your budget is going to allow you to reach as many people as your budget allows you to reach. So if you have five hundred dollars, maybe depending on the audience that you target is going to allow you to reach ten thousand people every single day. Now, reaching and getting impressions in front of those people are two different things. I'm not going to talk about that here. The next phase of your funnel is once you get somebody in your awareness, um, in your awareness it's a awareness audience, right? Then you want to start retargeting them with consideration campaigns like consider me, consider buying from me. Just consider. You you don't have to if you do, great. But just consider me with the other people, right? And this goes along with saying I know the temperature of my traffic. I know um what they may or may not need at this point at this level. And so they may be considering these different options. If you sell dog treats, then maybe they're at the point where they're considering uh, four or five brands 
And since you've already put your dog treat brand in front of them with the brand awareness and a reach campaign, then now you want to start to target them with traffic campaigns. You know, you want to get them to uh, leave Facebook and go over to your website or your landing page so that you could introduce them to more information, more products or more offers or either capture the lead, whatever it is you're trying to do. Then we have engagement. We're still in consideration. We have engagement. Um, engagement is if you have a piece of content that you've created and you feel like it's going to do your uh, consideration stage some justice and going to add a little bit more validity and justify someone actually leaving Facebook or you just want them to engage with you more and you want them to comment on the, on this uh, content or you want them to like it or you want them to have some type of reaction or maybe just engage with it to the point to where they share it. Whatever your call to action is within that post, within that, that advertisement that's going out, that is going to be the engagement campaign that you run. So you need to know what your objective is and what you're trying to accomplish before you start to set up these ads. And obviously the other things are app installs, video views, lead generation and messages. So these also have their own objectives within the consideration stage. Obviously, if you have apps that you're trying to download, you want to do app installs. If you have a brand new video that you've created and you're trying to retarget people at, you know, 25 percent, 25 percent of people who watched 50 percent of the people who watch 75 and then 100 percent of the people who watch depending on what you're trying to do and what you define as a hot or warm audience at the level in which they watch the video then you're going to do video views campaign and by the way those are extremely cheap extremely cheap if you're not using video views then you are tripping lead generation one of the best campaigns you could possibly run on facebook because you can grab the lead and people don't even have to leave Facebook. Now, you just need to have be locked in to know exactly what type of person you're trying to um, you're trying to get on. You're trying to get into your funnel or I don't want to say funnel, but you're trying to get onto your email list. So they're already on Facebook. They see your ad. All they need to do is click the button, that call to action button, and then. Um, there, you know, your offer pops up and then boom, once they hit it, their information is already plugged into Facebook and they just simply confirm. That's it. That's what that's what a lead form ad is. And so if you're trying to generate, you know, leads and you don't want someone leaving Facebook, then you could also, you know, you could set that up uh, lead form ad and then put your offer in front of people and they'll click on it. Boom. You have the email information and then there's a, a welcome a welcome page within that platform within um, not the platform but within the lead form it's like a thank you page it's like a plain thank you page and you can add an image and then a link in that thank you page and if like once you get the email the email address and they click confirm that you can utilize the real estate of that thank you page um, on the lead form to either go to any offer you want your, your own website, an affiliate offer, or whatever, whatever your, you know, your strategy is for that person once they, once you obtain that information. And then messages. If you want to just build straight message campaigns, then you're going to use the messaging campaign. And that's pretty productive. But you got to know, like I said, you got to have your chat bots set up. You got to be ready to answer uh, people when they respond to you via message so if you're not ready for that uh for the level of people who might be asking questions about um what it is you're pushing in their messenger your, their messenger then don't run messenger right because it's going to be a waste of money and replying to people two days later is not good for you and it's not good for your brand you just destroy everything and remember it takes it takes a long time to build a brand a build a solid reputation but it takes a matter of a moment a moment to destroy it so you want to make sure you get that right and make sure you have sufficient capabilities in place to run uh, a messenger campaign and then last 
We have conversions. That's what everybody wants. Everybody wants conversions. We all want to go from point A to conversions. You know, fuck awareness and fuck com consideration. We want to go straight to conversions. And I want to go straight to conversions. But like my boy Meek Mill say, it's levels to this. Levels, levels, levels. And you got to always play at the right level. Right. And so under conversions, we do have conversions. Right. Um, which is crazy. Right. But when you select a conversions campaign and you have, I think, uh, don't quote me on this. Facebook is always changing is either 30 to 50 conversions a week, something like that. Um, if you have a significant amount of conversions every week, Facebook is going to give you or put you in front of an audience that is most likely to convert to buy right and if you're doing this the correct way and you're retargeting everybody from your awareness with the consideration and then from a consideration you're retargeting everybody from the consideration with a conversions campaign then your conversions should be significantly high should have a higher click through rate because by the time people go from awareness consideration through those processes, they should be ready to convert, right? Because at this point, if you have strategically planned and placed your messages and answered the questions that they needed, they need answering in that process and educated them in that process, then you have nothing to worry about. You should be, um, you know, getting a, a positive ROAS return on ad spend not row ass like a s s row ass mm, never mind um a d d yeah okay uh but if you are doing exactly what you need to do with these with the proper placement the proper at each level the awareness level proper placement and creative and messaging at the consideration level and then retargeting both levels or the everybody at the consideration level with a conversion ad boom you good to go catalog sales if you have uh any type of store that has you know multiple products in it and you want to run dynamic creative ads you can use uh, catalog sales or you can just run one-off ads under these same circumstances that we're talking about you can because each product has its own brand so you know and people need to be educated about specific uh, products within your wheelhouse um, now you know like if you have a shoe store and you of course you have Nikes you have Yeezys you have Jordans, you have Reeboks, Adidas, you know, these different brands, each, you may have all the, this catalog of shoes, but each individual shoe is going to have its own culture, its own tribe of people who fuck with that shoe. So that's something to consider. So you may not want to run a dynamic ad if that is, if you know what dynamic ads are. Um, and then store traffic is just, you know, I'm just trying to get people who are most likely to buy to get over to my website. And so that's a breakdown of creating a new campaign, but also understanding what is the most important Facebook ad. So there's no real true 100 percent answer to like what is the best Facebook ad. It's always going to be knowing what you're trying to accomplish, knowing what you're capable of accomplishing, knowing where you are in the process with the people you are trying to put your message in front of and then appropriately and strategically applying the messages the creative and the and following the process patiently to get people from awareness to consideration and then ultimately to heaven which is the conversion so take your time map this out map out what you want to say at each individual level and strategically and when i say strategically i don't toss that term around loosely i mean it from the bottom of my heart strategically understand where you are in the mind of the people at the level in which you are acknowledging them all right so thank you for watching this video stay tuned Dropping more content. Peace.